there was the queue and now there's the queue before the queue and not the warmest of welcomes for those joining it but thousands like Alistair are undeterred by the wait or the walk her Majesty gave us 70 years. What's <laughs> giving her nine hours? That's nothing. Despite being five miles from Westminster, turning back was never an option for Alison from Richmond in Yorkshire, who's honouring a promise to her late mum. I'd worked 21 hours for her. When I was very little, me and my mum said we would come to this. My mum's passed away, so I'm here for her and Nanny, aren't we? Yeah. Many are making this pilgrimage for their loved ones. And when that opportunity looks like it's slipping away, frustration comes to the fore. So on the line. So poorly they should have known. Crowds were temporarily halted for safety. This will be open. I'm not sure about that. Open it. It came after 20 minutes, much to their relief. Thank you for your patience. Snaking through Southwark Park is taking on average three hours. Every so often, pressure is relieved on the pens and the queue surges forward by another 100 metres. It is overwhelming when you first enter, but morale is high. People expected it. And so they marched on. Among them, football legend David Beckham. Have you been waiting long, David? Folks, a little while. <laughs> who, like so many in those precious seconds, was overcome. I think it's emotional for, um, for everybody involved, you know, to obviously, um, I think, to be here, to, to, you know, to celebrate the way we, we have done with everybody today. I think it's been, a, it's been a special day. But it's not without its challenges. By night, safety in the queue becomes more demanding. Dozens have been taken to hospital after fainting and there's been a sexual assault charge for someone waiting in line. As temperatures dip, the resilience of thousands is tested as they now face a 24-hour wait. Ashna Harinag, Sky News in South East London.